Kim Godfrey's here. She is the theatrical uh, coordinator, and you also are music something. I am. I'm the director of music and theater at the Ashtabula Art Center. So you have a lot more talent than I do. Oh, gosh. <laughs> just, just a short story, but um, wife started this gig here at the County of Phone Company, and as you probably know, I do mostly new stuff. I'm here because Pat's gone, but uh, my the first... I, I'm trying to make a, an effort to get to all of the programs at the County and Arts Center and do a preview of them on the Monday before. It's like press day. You can go and take pictures or videos, whatever, for the um, play that's coming up that weekend. So the first time we did it happened to be um, Spam a Lot, which my son was in. <clears throat> the next one was Aristocats. And Spam a Lot, you directed, so I talked to you and, all, and got you on camera. And then like two weeks later, or three weeks later, I go back to the Art Center on a Monday for Spam a Lot, and it's a kid's play. And I see Pam Hamlin, Hammond there, and I said, I saw you there, but I said, who's directing this? Because I didn't think it would be you because you were in the middle of Spam a Lot, but yeah, it was. It was. Because, <laughs> so you, you've got to have a busy time. I do, I do. Um, I do all sorts of shows, especially in the winter. It tends to be extra busy because I also um, do the choreography for Edgewood High School's place. As wow. Well. So this summer I was, or this winter, I was doing Spam a Lot, Aristocats, and uh, High School Musical at Edgewood. So. It was a good time. It was very busy. I'm still ready to sleep, but um, but it was very good. Well, if, when Andy puts the camera on me, you could like put your head down for a few seconds. Oh, like, good. Go there like we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can and nudge me and let me go. Well, there's a lot of stuff going on this summer, and this weekend is the dance thing. Yes. Why don't you are, tell us about that first, and we, then we will... We are opening our spring dance concert on uh, this Friday, uh, which has um, original pieces choreographed by our director of dance, Sheila Dubsky, um, Clover Robinson, and Megan Stell. And um, the spring dance concert <clears throat> is actually one of my favorite parts of our year. We have in the winter we do annually we do the Nutcracker and then in the spring for the dance it's a mixture of contemporary dance along with the classical ballet dance as well mm -hmm. and um, they have pieces mm -hmm. ranging from the little children doing all sorts of things which is always fun to watch um, along with a lot more um, advanced dancers <coughs> and they do all sorts of lifts and um, and turns and everything that I is this is never. this where they have a contemporary like I think when you did they looked like Pink Floyd or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a year that they did Pink Floyd. Um, this year they're doing um, <clears throat> it's uh, the show is called The Edges Between, and um, they do all sorts of um, emotional. Uh, equilibrium type of dances where they there are some dancers who even use their body weight to counteract each other and it's really cool it's mm -hmm. it's awesome it gives you a new appreciation for people and dance and bodies being able to do that maybe we I could do something here maybe you could show me something and we could do something I don't know if that's <laughs> a good idea anyway. maybe we should contact our insurance carrier yes I think that might be a good idea <laughs> So, so when is, that's this weekend. That is this weekend and next weekend. Um, it is it, the Fridays and Saturday shows begin at seven thirty, and on Sundays it begins at two o'clock. Okay. So, yeah. It'll be uh, is that one of those fun. tickets in advance kind of things? You yes, you can get tickets in advance by calling the Art Center, um, 440-964-3396. Um, and you can order your tickets over the phone. There is a $2 handling fee for phone calls, or you can stop into the Ashtabula Art Center and get your tickets there. There's no handling fee there. So either way, you can do that. But um, you can order your tickets in advance, um, and the seating is reserved, so um, so it's not just general admission. Um, but it, it's a wonderful experience. I think everybody should should check it out at least once. Mm -hmm. so. There is quite a, a dance program there. Yes. I mean, um, the um, in, in the uh, yeah. At Christmas time with the Nutcracker, yes. that's a huge thing. Oh, yeah. And there's a lot of people that talk about going someplace else bigger and then discovering the one here and assuming that the one in Erie or Cleveland is going to be better and it'll be blown away by the one at uh, 
the Ashton Art Zone. Oh yes, Sheila Dubsky <clears throat> does a wonderful job with everyone. It's um, it's been amazing. I, I grew up doing um, musicals and shows at the Art Center where um, I watched the dancers even as a teenager and I was amazed at the talent that they have and the technique that they learn while they're there. It's absolutely amazing. Sheila does a wonderful job. So we also have the Straw Hat coming up, and yes. that's next month. It is next month. Um, we, Peter Pan. Yes, which your grandson is in. Oh, oh my gosh. He's, <laughs> he is he very is, excited. I oh, think. he is extremely <laughs> excited. He loves theater. He's five years old. He's five. He talks like a 20-year-old. And last year, we took him to see The Little Mermaid, yes. and he had to wear a tie to the oh play. <laughs> And he just loved it, and he saw Aristocats, and he had to go see his dad in Spam a lot, which is probably not the best play for a five-year-old, but eh. That's right. He used a, a song from Spam a lot for his audition song. I'm all summer. alone. Yeah. Yes. It was wonderful. <laughs> he was very excited. It's it's so fun to work on um, to work on the kids' shows and to see everybody grow from from being that the five-year-old age or even younger sometimes and, and seeing them grow up. It's been... Um, it's really neat to watch and see. And the, with Peter Pan, it is um, a kids' show for kids that is also done by kids. And um, the director, Marianne Klein, does such a wonderful job working with them. She has quite a few people in the cast. But, um, but I've heard that um, your grandson is quite excited. So. <laughs> I guess he gives pep talks or something. Oh, he does. <laughs> I've heard he all is, about it. He's my grandsons, very excited. <laughs> my grandsons are not shy. Yeah. <laughs> That is good. That is good, especially in the theater. So, so yeah. So we are opening the um, the season with Peter Pan Jr., uh, which is the Disney version of Peter Pan, and. Um, we have, uh, as I said, Marianne Klein is directing that, and that goes for three weekends in June. Um, and then after that, we are doing on 4th of July weekend, on the 5th and 6th, we have, we started last year, we started doing a princess concert, which um, we have all of the princesses, Sleeping Beauty and uh, Cinderella mm -hmm. and Snow White, all of the princesses come to the Art Center and they do a wonderful concert. And this year we're adding a tea to it oh. um, where they can sign up to be a part of both the concert and the tea. And we will have the new princesses, um, Elsa and Anna from Frozen there as well. Oh. So that will be very well, I think exciting. you have to have them from Frozen. Oh, yes. Because it's <laughs> yeah. pretty... That is quite a hit these days, so... You know, I was thinking uh, when I went to do the, um, well, I went to see the show Aristocrats too, but at the preview, um, I talked to you and then I stopped a couple of the performers and I said to one of them, I said, uh, so is this your first performance? And he says, no, this is my 14th. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, you know, if, if you're thinking would your kids or grandkids be good for you know, theater like this. I tell you, the kids I talk to there, they're very well spoken, they know how to conduct themselves, and man, that can't hurt later in life. It's so true. That's one thing um, that I think is wonderful about theater. It's, it's just good with uh, learning how to work with people, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, it has that teamwork effect along with learning how to communicate um, through your words and mm -hmm. through your actions and what is right and what is wrong, and it's, it's, it's a great way to learn all about life. Right, it is. <laughs> yeah. And how to carry yourself when you're talking and and you know I'm, I've just come up to this the two two of them and asked them questions and they had no way to prepare or anything and uh, yeah. It's but they did very good. well. <clears throat> and that's I figure it's, it's, it has to be because of the you know this is their 14th show. Right. And you know, yeah. when you're 13 or 14 years old and you're standing there and you're singing and you're the only one singing to a whole sea of people yeah i don't know yeah <laughs> I, I... it's pretty amazing when i see all these little ones we had in <clears throat> little mermaid junior last summer which was really 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 good yeah uh, yep. yeah that was also directed by marianne klein and um but we had the um 
the chef in Little Mermaid, she was last year, I believe she was turning six years old. <laughs> and so she was five yes, years I old. On, yeah, five years old on that stage. And that girl is not afraid of anything. And she will go, and she was so funny. But even five years old and getting up and doing that in front of 200 people at once is a huge deal. It's wonderful. It's absolutely great. But, um, so we have the Peter Pan Jr., which is um, our kids-based show, and then the Princess Concert, which is also a family-based, um, a good uh, kid fun time. And These would also be things that if you don't, I don't, the age-old question, should you take your kid to the movies yet? Is he old enough? Is, he old, or is she old enough to take them to a play yet? These would be good ones. Oh too. yeah, these are great for um, for any any age child. You can even bring. I mean, I would even try to bring your three year olds yeah. to see it. It's something that it can draw their attention into, it, and it's amazing how many. You sometimes people will think that their kids won't sit through it, or um, they won't be able to sit that long. But um, Peter Pan Jr. That one is a good show to bring for young ones, especially because it is written to be shorter. Mm -hmm. So it it will only be about a, a little over an hour long and um, it's amazing to watch I mean you see little toddlers come in and then they're just drawn to the stage and they're watching everybody on it and it's, it's amazing mm -hmm. it's very great um, and something that we tried to do for the summer for the straw hat season um, is make sure that everything is family friendly and that um, people can bring their families to each show and have a good time. Nothing can scale a lot. Right. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're we're saving that a little more for the for the indoor, but we'll we'll mix it in and out of each season. But um, so we have. Uh, the Peter Pan is in June. Then we have a 4th of July weekend on the 5th and 6th. We have the um, Princess Concerts and Tea in the afternoon. And then in the evenings, we're opening uh, High School Musical 2, oh. which I will be directing. Um, and that one is, uh, that's more of our teen-based show, um, actor-wise. And um, <clears throat> it's a good show. Once again, it's a good one for families and a great one for kids. Um, it's very upbeat and very light. Um, and it's nothing too serious. It's funny, and it has um, a wonderful storyline. There are some people who see the high school musicals and they automatically assume that it's fluff and all of that, but it definitely teaches um, a, a lesson in there of working together and um, being nice to each other and something that I think is good for, mm -hmm. for kids to learn. <laughs> um, and then at the end of the summer, for August, we have uh, Once Upon a Mattress, which is an older show that is written about the princess and the pea, um, and which I will actually, I will be in that one. And uh -huh. that one is going to be directed by Steve Rhodes um, of Kaniat. Yeah. And, um, and your son, Derek, will be in that as well. Right. And so that'll be, that'll be fun. It's a good one. It's a, it, that is also a good funny show. Um, it has a little more adult, uh, there are more jokes for adults in that one, but it is definitely kid friendly. Mm -hmm. It's what, it's one of those shows that has the good jokes for adults, but the kids won't really understand right. them. So that's, uh, I think we have a good summer for, um, wonderful family nights out. Um, and coming to the straw hat, which is an experience in itself sure. and making sure that, um, I mean, it's outside, and so we have, if you've never been there before, it's um, an outdoor theater that looks like a pavilion. It has tarps on the side um, that are actually really nice. It makes it sound like it's... Blue you think it was like a tent, like a service tent, but there's, <laughs> yeah. a, there's a hard roof on it. There is, yeah. There's a hard roof on it, and it's it's a wonderful experience. It's something that if you've never if you've never tried it, it's it's great to feel to feel the breeze of the summer at night and to be a part of the theater outside. It's it's a wonderful experience. It is. Yeah. I kind of want to address the Ashtonville Art Center. I know that they need volunteers. They need people that can take people, ushers and that sort of thing. And uh, oh, yes. what, what kind of background do you need if you were interested maybe in doing, being in a play or 
I don't know, playing in an orchestra or sweeping up afterward or, or whatever. Yeah, um, being in a play, actually, you don't really need any experience. You just kind of need a love for theater. And um, there are some people who I know love to sing and who had never been in a play before and are in their 20s or 30s or 40s or 50s. I even had, we had somebody be a part of a show who was um, in her 60s who had never been, uh, who had never been in a show before and she said that she loved to sing and she's always been had a flair for the dramatic and uh, And then she came in and and did a little audition and it was great And um, so being in a show you don't really need that much experience um, You just the love for it is sometimes enough um, and for being a part of the orchestra um, or the bands for it. Um, you probably need a little more experience with the instruments. Um, but uh, we are always taking names for people who are interested. Um, and the more experience you have, the better. But at the same time, even if you're learning an instrument and would like to be a part of it, um, we can definitely pair you up with somebody who is more experienced who can kind of show you the ways and do that. Um, also, we are looking to uh, really bring up our volunteer base when it comes to finding volunteers for, we have so many opportunities of um, ushering and running the concession stand and helping our box offices or um, we also need, we all are always looking for people who can sew and who like to make costumes. We, um, <coughs> we have people who like to bake we uh, definitely take those volunteers uh, when it comes to our art openings or we are now doing for the straw hat season we're starting an opening night soiree mm, which is yeah. um, a an opening night party after the show where um, anybody who volunteers to donate uh, some goodies or hors d'oeuvres we're always looking for but there are so many opportunities to volunteer at the art center and we're always looking for new people so those are some of the things that we need help with. <laughs> well, just you're talking about the atmosphere there, and it's it's kind of spell summertime. You just it just feels like summer when you go there. Oh yeah, it and all the people does. and the the tickets, and you know sometimes it's raining out there, and uh, yes. I mean, I can remember when they used to have it down at the Walnut Beach. That right. Was, that was a long time ago. I've heard lots of stories about that. My um, wife's aunt was a director. Of back in the early 70s and it got to raining and hailing so hard oh, no. they had to stop the play for a while for you know like five minutes because uh, nobody could hear anything oh no so that was that was a while ago but, uh, yeah we've had we've had a few shows where um i've called them our monsoon nights where we have we have doors on the side with um with the canvas sides of the of the tent that we call it and you can f sometimes feel the water coming in just a little <laughs> bit you never get soaked unless you walk outside um and then we have a little area around the stage that we call the moat that sometimes does fill up during <laughs> little mermaid last year we joked about having um rubber duckies down there and that being part of the sea <laughs> or under the sea experience so <laughs> Henry was impressed with uh, they had the bubbles yes. the little mermaid that was a nice touch all, yes. all around our wonderful bubble machine and the, <laughs> I mean I'm, I'm not good at describing things but the stage is like circular and you have people all around it yes. so there's different viewing angles yeah, there are different viewing. It's actually, it's called a thrust stage, and it's it's around um, three sides right now. It used to be in the complete round, where it was audience around the whole thing. Um, but it's very, it's an interactive experience. You're very close. Um, as an audience member, there's not really a bad no, seat in the house. No. Because you can, you're, the <clears throat> as deep as it goes is five rows, I'm pretty sure. And um, so you're, you're fairly close the whole time. It's great. It's a wonderful experience. I would warn though that uh, with the kids shows you better get your tickets because yes you got 16 to cast they all have parents grandparents aunts uncles neighbors absolutely and, uh, I would definitely suggest calling as soon as you can we do have um, subscription opportunities where you can get um, a subscription for it's like four tickets and you get a little bit of a discount on the tickets and you can use them for the whole family so I would definitely look into that option as well but um, I, I would definitely get your tickets as soon as possible for those
<laughs> Without a doubt. But we also have, we have a brand new concert series this summer. We, with uh, talking about the Straw Hat Theater, we have this beautiful patio and brand new concession stand uh, that we've had, I think it's only three years old now. And we are starting to do a concert series on Wednesday nights at 6.30. We're, uh, we're starting with four uh, concerts this summer where uh, we're actually starting on June 25th um, and it is we're doing our first concert is called Broadway Babies to Broadway Ladies mm. and that is um, I'm actually a part of that one with my friend and um, I, I can call her a colleague as well, um, Caitlin Warner, who uh, we both have degrees in musical theater and love Broadway and so we are doing that uh, with um, Deborah Fleming uh, of who grew up in Conneaut and she will be accompanying <coughs> us for that and on um, Wednesday July 9th at 6 30 we are having the singer-songwriter Alex Bevan skinny little boy and <laughs> and um, <coughs> and then on Wednesday July 23rd we're having um, the remember then uh, who, and they play tunes from the 50s, 60s, and 70s. And then on Wednesday, August 6th, also at 6.30, we have the Irish tenor John Hoyle. And one of his uh, friends will be on the guitar playing with him. Um, but So we have a little bit of everything for, for our new concert series. We'll have the concession stand there. You can bring lawn chairs and, and your dinner. And it'll be a nice, a nice night yeah. out. It'll be fun in the beautiful summer, and if we by chance do have one of those monsoon evenings, we'll have it inside of the Straw Hat Theater. Okay. So. That'll be, that'll be our, our new thing for the summer. We also have um, our brown bag concerts that we've uh, done every year for as long as I can remember. Me um, too. <laughs> and yeah, <laughs> um, we are only doing them in Jefferson this year. They are sponsored by the Gazette, um, and we're, we're working on our lineup for that. So uh, those will be on Thursdays at noon and um, they begin on July 10th. So. They're kind of designed so that if you're working you can take your lunch, enjoy the concert while you're eating and then alas and alack go back to work. Right, yeah, <laughs> yeah it's almost like a little vacation in the middle of the day that's what I say when I when I get to go. I, I It's pretty lucky getting to go every every time so then I can sit there and eat my lunch in yeah. the sun and it's, it's very fun. It's very relaxing and it's a good time. Um, we also, something else that's new uh, that we are doing at the Art Center, um, this uh, it is on uh, May Saturday, May thirty first. We are doing a rummage sale where you can um, you can bring your uh, your things that you have maybe in a basement um, or an attic or even closets, and you can bring your stuff and donate it to the art center for our rummage sale. You can start bringing that stuff on uh, Monday, so that will be on May thirty first. Or if you want to find something new, yeah, go ahead and bring it. You can take, take your old stuff there and. Take back somebody else's old That's stuff. That's what I'm afraid I'm going to do. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting ready to move, so I'm going through all of my things. And I was like, oh, this is good for the rummage sale. This is good. And then I start thinking about, well, I wonder what I can find at the rummage sale. <laughs> so you can get it either way. <laughs> Now that's something that they haven't had before, is it? Is no, it? we haven't done that before. Um, not that I know of, anyway. We might have done it in the past before my time. Or something. So, no. <laughs> um, but that is something that that is brand new. We have one of our. It is actually being led by volunteers. Our um, a woman who is and one of my best friends, Lisa Lowry, is working on um, doing a lot of the volunteer coordinating for that. So that'll be something new that we're bringing along. And then after the straw hat's done, it's a few weeks and it's back inside for the fall. It is. Were, were you working at uh, what what you're going to be doing this fall? Oh yes, we actually we have we have announced it in our newsletter. Oh. Uh, we have announced the whole year. We are starting. We do the kids production class, which the Aristocats was a part of this mm -hmm. past winter. We've always done um, one of the children's production classes in the winter. And now we're doing one in the winter and in the fall as well. So the kids take a class for so many weeks. Yes. And it's culminated by a production. Yes. 
Yes, and so they have they have class two times a week, and that um, that'll begin in July, and it'll be two times a week, and then their final show is in September, and that is we are doing Schoolhouse Rock Live Junior, so that will be a little shorter than the regular Schoolhouse Rock. Um, Schoolhouse Rock Live, and it's a very similar to. I get there was an old TV show. Yeah. Schoolhouse Rock. I, I I think that might have been before before my time. You're, but but I know the musical. So <laughs> I know so the musical young. of it. But um, we're doing that, and then uh, in October we're uh, starting off our season with Little Shop of Horrors with oh. the musical. Yeah. Who's so directing that, that? I'm directing. Oh, that. okay. So yeah, so I'm doing a few back to back again, but um, I'm very excited about that. I actually I did that um. In in 2004, we did it 10 years ago, uh, I had just graduated from high school and um, Steve Rhodes directed that, so I'm very excited to do I it I bet uh, when, when my daughter was in high school, they constructed a plant. Yes. And then they, they made money by shipping it off all yes. over. Yes, we actually, we were looking into <clears throat> borrowing it. And Is it still I, around? It's not. It's I guess, um, according to my sources, and if anybody knows otherwise, <laughs> you can let me know. Uh, but according well, to my sources. By the way, if you have a question, it's 593 when somebody wants to call in. Oh, okay, there but we go. Go ahead. Um, but uh, we have, <clears throat> um, I, but they said that it was ruined in an accident of some sort. Oh my god! So yeah, so we have to look into renting it from somebody else. But those were they, they were great. Those were mm -hmm. some great plants that we used. So we we used those from from the Connie Hot production and borrowed them. So, but we have um, Little Shop of Horrors in October. Then we're doing um, a Neil Simon comedy, Laughter on the Twenty Third Floor, in November. And then we will have um, our beautiful uh, rendition of the Nutcracker, our annual production for the ballet company. Um, then in January, we are doing, um, we're actually taking the Frozen theme from the new Disney movie. Uh -huh. We are now doing, uh, we will be doing a Frozen concert uh, beginning in January. So that's a little something that's, um, it's not quite Christmassy, but it's wintry. Mm -hmm. and, um, There'll and probably be some winter fun. left in January too. Oh yeah, <laughs> we're starting. <laughs> and um, so we will have, we'll have the Frozen thing. That'll be something nice to do after, after Christmas, something to get out and do a little something with the family and then we are doing a show called greater tuna which is also um a fun comedy it's a two-person show and that will be directed by aaron drews do you know so. who's in that or do that we do not know yet um i what, saw that somebody did that at a restaurant or something yeah ago. they can that's one of those shows that you can kind it, of take around and do do anywhere it's a two care two people who play tons of characters right they come and, out in different garb and everything yeah yeah it's pretty it's a good funny. time yeah, and then our, our February show is um, going to be directed by Steve Rhodes, and it is Enchanted April. And from what I hear, we are actually going to have real greenery and real grass and everything for that set. And Ray Beach, our technical director at the Art Center, has these wonderful plants. So when it is wintry and yucky outside and freezing cold, then um, you can have a nice little escape. Well, to spin them a lot. There. Yeah. It, Spamalot had uh, lots of greenery and all. Oh yeah. Yeah, we have we have quite a bit there. And Ray Ray Beach is um our technical director and he and I we work hand in hand being the um the theater people at the art center all the time and he is somebody who is wonderful to work with. He's very creative and has wonderful ideas and does a lot of great stuff. So that'll be that'll be really exciting to see. Yeah. Um I don't. I don't know if I've ever seen live grass on on a stage before, so I'm interested to see it myself. <laughs> and um, well, is he responsible for the spam? I mean, they had this is. big yes. forest in the back, and then it was real. Yeah. It you, was. Um, you it recycled was all, it in Aristocats. We did. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it was so good. I can't. Yeah, you can't go. just. You, you can't just have it for for one production. Right. <laughs> yeah. And then um, it was Ray did all of the all of the greenery and the but the background of it that gave it some extra depth was done by our director of visual arts, Megan Humphrey. So she does a lot of the art classes and she yeah. um, runs the art gallery and she's a wonderful. She and her, lady. And her husband Ralph. Bacon. Yes. Yes, and they, but she did the, she added the depth to it, and it was, it was pretty cool. Wasn't there a mention made in, in the play about the, 
Great a very city. expensive forest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And we weren't, at one point throughout the production, we weren't sure whether, it, how, how exactly it would look. So it was either going to be a very cheap forest or a very expensive forest. So. Well, it was impressive. When you mentioned yeah. that, then that, I remembered. Yes. From Spam a lot. Yes, indeed. So, um, so that's Enchanted April and February. And then in March, we'll have our other children's production class. That will, The classes will actually start in January. But um, the show that we're doing then is Sleeping Beauty Kids. Oh. So we're doing the Disney show of that. So that'll that'll be um, a fun a fun time for the kids. And then we are closing the indoor season with uh, the Sondheim Musical Company. And um, that's one that that not a lot of people know about, but um, it's there's actually a version of it on Netflix. And um, but it is about a man in his I believe it's supposed to be set he's supposed to be in his mid 30s and uh, he's a single guy who's surrounded by um, married friends married couples mm. and they all try to set him up with different people and it's it's a great time it's one of my favorite shows um, it's there's some heartfelt messages with it along with a lot of funny stuff that happens so are you directing that one I am not oh. I'm not that is you gonna be in it I maybe <clears throat> I'll audition and see so <laughs> Do they so have to be take fun. you because you're theatrical no. coordinator? Could they say, uh... They don't. Yeah. <laughs> they don't have to take oh, me. I'm sorry, but... Kim. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I, I always try to audition for, for whatever I can do and see what happens. But that one's going to be directed by Christy Seymour. Okay. So she did Annie this past year and did a wonderful job. Yeah. Yeah. They had, a uh, What's his name? The, uh... Uncle. He had hair. He did. That was actually my dad, um, Bob Godfrey, and he. Oh, okay. I actually, I didn't. I really didn't want him to be bald. <laughs> I have no. I've never seen my dad bald before. <laughs> uh, my son can't but, say the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can't sing worth. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah. Um, he did have hair. He was we we had played around with the idea of doing a bald cap and doing, but he, we all just thought he looked so funny that um, with I I don't know if what he'll do if he ever does lose his hair because he does look kind of funny. <laughs> Unlike you, it fits. It looks good. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so we'll see. But yeah, that Annie, that was a fun. That was a fun mm -hmm. production. That was fun to do. Yes. So we have all sorts of new things going on at the Art Center. And um, especially with our, our new executive director, Lori uh, Rabashaw. Right. And yeah, which she, is a video interview with her at our website, www.sweet224.net. I've been thinking of 33. Sweet224.net. <laughs> I've been here since 7 o'clock this morning. This is all new to me, so I'm, yeah. I'm going to take a nap afterward. I'm sorry. <laughs> But anyway, there's an interview with her and the outgoing director, too. Yes. So, yes, so. that's wonderful. I'm Beth Kosky. So mm -hmm. we have all sorts of new things going on. And um, you can visit our Facebook page. We do have, we have a Facebook page. Right. And we have yeah, but... our, um, our website is artcenternews.com. And, um, yeah. And it's on West 13th Street. Just yes. if, you know, if you were going to Kent State, just before you get to Kent State. And you go there, and there's there's the, a nice theater. There's a, a beautiful gallery area where all of the paintings and stuff are. There's uh, where they do the dance, where the kids are rehearsing now for uh, for the dance uh, for concert the, for this the weekend. Well, in, in the Peter Pan. Yes. I, was, I spent an evening there with while Henry was on uh, yeah. um, the practice. Oh, so good. there's there, it's quite a, a nice complex and yes. well thought out, well laid out, and it's it's kind of was built. In stages. Yes, it was. Yeah. And so. then outside you've got the straw hat. Yes. And we actually, we utilize a lot of those in our, we have a lot of summer camps as well that are coming up. And um, we have our regular multi-arts camp that is, um, it, we combine <laughs> dance, music, and art, and, uh, and theater as well. We combine all uh, four art forms and into putting on a show at the very end. Mm -hmm. And it's a camp that runs from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And we have two separate um, camps for that. Those are called our multi-arts camps, and those are from kids in first through sixth grades. And then... Um, we have our director of visual arts, Megan Humphrey, has tons of art camps that go in the afternoon. And um, I have a, a few theater and music camps that go on in July. And so there's a lot, a lot happening. Is the student art still up there? 
Is um, it? it is not. We now have the Lakeshore Artists is okay. now for for the month of May. Yeah, for the the, the past month it was student yes, art. Yes, it was student art. It was um put on by the Kiwanis Club, and um but it was student art from all around Asheville County, and it's amazing. Yeah. It's so cool to see. There were a couple. We had a few kids who go into the art center and don't really take the art classes there, mm -hmm. but their artwork was up, and we were like, very oh, it's very, amazing. Yeah. There, there are so many talented kids in this and area. A few a month or so before that was the same type of thing at the County Art Center. Oh, great. Yeah, so yeah, that's I, I saw a few of the same. Oh, really? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that's great, yeah. But I, I, there's a video online of that, too, at oh, the, the uh, Ashtonville Art Center, and some of the kids are talking about their art and how they came up with the ideas and, yeah. and that sort of thing. That's and they're, they're very well spoken, too. So I, yeah. <laughs> I'm lucky I, I get to meet a lot of smart kids. So. Right, yeah, <laughs> that's very true. That is good. All right, well, we've got the dance this weekend, mm -hmm. and is it next weekend? Is yes, we have the dance for two weekends, this weekend and next weekend. And Memorial Day weekend, we have um, the Kanye Art Center. We'll be at the Asheville Art Center doing their dance show. Right, so, so. and then you've got three months' worth of uh, okay. plays at Straw Hat. Mm -hmm. You've got the concerts in Jefferson. You've got the concerts in Ashtabula, the new concerts at the Art Center. So, yeah. Tell us the website one more time. It is www.artcenternews.com. You didn't say too many W's like I did. www.www.com. <laughs> 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 well, thank you for stopping in. Of course, thank you for having me. <laughs> it's been fun, and if you haven't been to the Ashtabula Art Center, I tell you, it's, uh, and bring your kids. It, it uh, may open up a whole world for them, really. Yeah.